Neutron stars are some of the most fascinating objects in the universe. They are incredibly dense, with masses similar to that of the Sun, but compressed into a space no larger than a city. In fact, the density of a neutron star is so high that a sugar cube-sized piece of matter from a neutron star would weigh as much as a mountain on Earth. Neutron stars are formed from the remnants of massive stars that have undergone a supernova explosion, leaving behind a core made almost entirely of neutrons. During the supernova explosion, the outer layers of the star are ejected into space, leaving only the dense core. As the core collapses, the pressure and temperature become so high that the protons and electrons combine to form neutrons. The resulting neutron-rich matter is so dense that it is held together by neutron degeneracy pressure, which counteracts the force of gravity. The study of neutron stars has significant implications for astronomy. Neutron stars are natural laboratories for testing physical theories under extreme conditions. The high density of matter in neutron stars provides scientists with a unique opportunity to study the behavior of matter under conditions that cannot be replicated on Earth. They can also be used to test theories of strong gravity and general relativity. Furthermore, neutron stars are crucial to our understanding of the evolution of the universe. They are intimately connected to the processes of star formation and supernova explosions, which in turn play a vital role in the formation of new galaxies. The remnants of supernova explosions, including neutron stars, are responsible for the production of heavy elements such as gold and platinum, which are essential for life. In addition, neutron stars are the source of some of the most exotic and energetic phenomena in the universe. Pulsars, for example, are rapidly rotating neutron stars that emit beams of radiation from their magnetic poles. Magnetars, on the other hand, are a type of neutron star with an extremely strong magnetic field, a billion times stronger than that of Earth. These magnetic fields can create violent flares of X-rays and gamma rays, which can be detected from Earth. Neutron stars are some of the densest objects in the universe, second only to black holes. They are formed when a massive star, typically with a mass greater than three times that of the Sun, undergoes a supernova explosion at the end of its life cycle. The supernova explosion occurs when the core of the star, which is composed mainly of iron, collapses under the force of gravity. This collapse creates a shock wave that propagates outward, causing the outer layers of the star to be ejected into space. The core of the star, however, continues to collapse until it reaches an incredibly high density, so high that the protons and electrons are squeezed together to form neutrons. The resulting neutron star is incredibly small, with a diameter of only about 10 to 20 kilometers, but has a mass greater than that of the Sun. The density of matter in a neutron star is so high that a single teaspoonful would weigh around 6 billion tons on Earth. The formation of neutron stars is a violent process, and the energy released during a supernova explosion is incredibly large. In fact, the energy released during a supernova explosion is equivalent to the energy output of the entire Milky Way galaxy for a short period of time. The study of neutron stars is essential to our understanding of the universe. Neutron stars provide us with a unique opportunity to study matter under extreme conditions, and they help us to answer fundamental questions about the nature of the universe. The dense matter found in neutron stars also provides us with important clues about the behavior of matter in the early universe, shortly after the Big Bang. To understand the formation of neutron stars, it's important to first understand the life cycle of massive stars. Massive stars, those with a mass greater than eight times that of the Sun, are born from clouds of gas and dust, known as nebulae. These clouds collapse under their own gravity, creating a dense core that becomes the newborn star. For most of their lives, massive stars undergo a process called nuclear fusion, in which hydrogen is fused into helium in the star's core, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process. This energy helps to counteract the force of gravity that is pulling the star inward, allowing the star to maintain its shape and size. However, eventually, the star runs out of fuel and the fusion process slows down. Without the outward pressure of fusion, the force of gravity causes the star to collapse inward. In the case of massive stars, this collapse can lead to a catastrophic explosion known as a supernova. During a supernova, the outer layers of the star are blasted into space, while the inner core collapses under its own gravity. If the core has a mass greater than about 1.4 times that of the Sun, it will continue to collapse until the protons and electrons in its atoms merge to form neutrons. This process is known as neutronization, and it leads to the formation of a neutron star. The resulting neutron star is incredibly dense, with a mass up to twice that of the Sun packed into a sphere with a diameter of only about 20 kilometers. 
The strong gravitational forces within the neutron star are counteracted by a repulsive force between neutrons known as neutron degeneracy pressure. This force prevents the neutrons from collapsing under their own gravity, giving rise to the incredibly dense and stable nature of neutron stars. As we mentioned in the previous section, a supernova explosion is the process by which massive stars end their lives and give rise to neutron stars. Let's take a closer look at this process and explore how it leads to the formation of a neutron star. When a massive star runs out of fuel for nuclear fusion, the core collapses under the force of gravity. This collapse creates a tremendous amount of energy and pressure, causing the outer layers of the star to be blasted into space in a supernova explosion. During this process, the core of the star can become incredibly dense, with the equivalent mass of several suns packed into an object only about the size of a city. The pressure and energy created during this collapse is so great that it can cause the electrons and protons in the core to merge, forming neutrons. As the core continues to collapse, it reaches a point where the neutrons themselves are packed so tightly together that they create a repulsive force known as neutron degeneracy pressure. This force helps to counteract the gravitational force pulling the core inward, creating a stable object known as a neutron star. The supernova explosion that creates a neutron star also releases a tremendous amount of energy in the form of light and radiation. In some cases, this energy can be detected on Earth as a bright, transient event known as a supernova. By studying these explosions and the resulting remnants, astronomers can learn more about the properties of neutron stars and the processes that lead to their formation. Supernova explosions are among the most powerful and energetic events in the universe. When a massive star runs out of fuel, it can no longer support its own weight against gravity, and its core collapses. The core collapse releases a huge amount of energy, causing the outer layers of the star to explode outward in a supernova explosion. The energy released during a supernova explosion is truly staggering. For example, the energy released in a supernova can be equivalent to the amount of energy emitted by an entire galaxy over its lifetime. The explosion is so bright that it can be visible from Earth, even during the daytime. But the energy released during a supernova is not just in the form of light. The explosion also releases a huge number of neutrinos, subatomic particles that can pass through matter almost unaffected. In fact, it is estimated that for a brief period of time, a supernova can emit more neutrinos than all the stars in the Milky Way combined. Supernova explosions can also create heavy elements, such as gold and platinum. These elements are formed in the extreme conditions of the supernova explosion and are then dispersed into space, eventually becoming incorporated into new stars and planets. The shock waves generated by supernova explosions can also trigger the formation of new stars by compressing gas and dust. As the shock wave expands outward, it compresses the gas and dust, leading to the formation of new stars and planets. Neutron stars are some of the most fascinating objects in the universe. They are incredibly dense, with a mass that is typically 1.4 times that of the Sun but a size only about 10 kilometers in diameter. This means that a neutron star is so dense that a teaspoonful of its material would weigh about a billion tons. The density of neutron stars is truly mind-boggling. The average density of a neutron star is estimated to be about 10 to the power of 17 kilograms per cubic meter, which is roughly equivalent to the weight of Mount Everest in a space the size of a sugar cube. This incredible density is due to the fact that the matter in a neutron star is packed so tightly that the electrons and protons are forced to combine into neutrons. The magnetic fields of neutron stars are also incredibly strong, with some of the strongest magnetic fields in the universe. The magnetic field of a neutron star can be a million billion times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. Neutron stars also have incredibly rapid rotation rates, with some neutron stars spinning hundreds of times per second. This rapid rotation can create intense magnetic fields, which can generate beams of electromagnetic radiation that sweep across the sky like a lighthouse beacon. These beams can be detected as pulses of radiation, which is why these types of neutron stars are known as pulsars. The incredible density of neutron stars is due to the fact that the matter in these objects is packed so tightly that the electrons and protons are forced to combine into neutrons. But what keeps the neutrons from collapsing under their own weight and creating a black hole? The answer lies in the concept of neutron degeneracy pressure. Neutron degeneracy pressure is a quantum mechanical effect that arises when fermions, such as neutrons, are packed tightly together. According to the Pauli exclusion principle, no two fermions can occupy the same quantum state simultaneously. This means that as more and more neutrons are squeezed into a smaller and smaller volume, they must occupy higher and higher energy states, 
creating a pressure that opposes further compression. In the case of neutron stars, the density is so extreme that neutron degeneracy pressure is the primary force supporting the structure of the star. Without this pressure, the star would collapse under its own weight and become a black hole. The strength of neutron degeneracy pressure depends on the number density of neutrons, which is related to the mass and size of the neutron star. The more massive the neutron star, the greater the number density of neutrons, and the stronger the neutron degeneracy pressure. It's important to note that neutron degeneracy pressure is not the only force at work in neutron stars. The intense gravity of these objects also plays a significant role in shaping their structure. But without neutron degeneracy pressure, neutron stars would not be able to resist their own gravitational collapse and maintain their incredibly dense and compact structure. Neutron stars are known for their extreme conditions, which make them some of the most fascinating objects in the universe. One of the most notable characteristics of neutron stars is their incredibly strong gravitational field. Due to their high mass and compact size, neutron stars have a gravitational pull that is more than a billion times stronger than that of Earth. This means that objects near a neutron star, such as planets or other stars, are subject to intense gravitational forces that can cause them to orbit rapidly or even be pulled apart. Another extreme condition found on neutron stars is their magnetic field. Neutron stars have the strongest magnetic fields of any known object in the universe, with field strengths that can be up to a billion times stronger than the magnetic field of Earth. These magnetic fields can have a variety of effects on the surrounding environment. They can generate intense radiation, such as X-rays and gamma rays, which can be detected by astronomers. They can also create powerful jets of particles that shoot out from the poles of the neutron star at nearly the speed of light. In addition to their strong gravitational and magnetic fields, neutron stars also have incredibly high densities. The matter in a neutron star is packed so tightly that a single teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh billions of tons on Earth. The study of neutron stars has led to numerous important discoveries in astrophysics, including the detection of gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time that are caused by the movement of massive objects, such as neutron stars or black holes. In 2017, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory LIGO, detected gravitational waves for the first time, marking a major breakthrough in the field of astronomy. The waves were produced by the collision of two neutron stars, which generated a burst of gravitational waves that rippled through space-time. This discovery was made possible by the incredible precision of LIGO, which was able to detect changes in space-time that were less than a billionth of the width of a proton. The detection of gravitational waves has opened up a new way of studying the universe, providing astronomers with a new tool for exploring the cosmos. Thanks for watching this video about neutron stars. If you found this information interesting, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.